Welcome to the Occupational Safety Leadership Podcast, episode number 66. In today's episode, we will talk about mutagens. And um, episode 65, we talked about carcinogens. Not quite the same thing, but sometimes they are, you know. So we'll sit, kind of sit down, we'll talk about a little bit about the differences, um, common ones you can find in the workplace. Uh, so let's just dive right in. Let's go over a couple of definitions first. So, a mutagen is a physical or chemical agent that permanently changes genetic material. Um, just like the word says, mutagen, it mutates something then. So, uh, when we think about um, mutagens, of course, we obviously think about how um, spider, Spider-Man was bitten by that radioactive spider, you know, and from that point on, he could shoot webs and... Um, act like a spider so uh for us of course in the real world it does not work that way then so um as many of these mutagens can can cause cancer in animals such mutagens can therefore also be considered a carcinogen but they're they're not always exactly the same then so when we think about some of the the mutagens out there we can think about tobacco products radioactive substances, x-rays, UV radiation, and there's a whole bunch of chemicals. And that's really a lot of what we're talking about now is what we're going to find on the SDS sheet where it's going to say it's a mutagen of a classification system. It will, it will not cause uh, your DNA to mutate. But like all things, they always have to say bay because it doesn't always do it every single time. So let's look at the different uh, three different types of mutagens out there. So we have the physical agents, chemical agents, and biological agents. So let's first talk about chemical, um, uh, I'm sorry, physical agents. So when we think about physical agents, high energy radiation, gamma rays, x-rays, alpha particles, all that good stuff then. Chemical agents, when we think about that, we could think about nitrous acts. Uh, acid, and of course, we, we'll really get into a whole list of the diff- different chemical agents uh, afterwards then. So, uh, and biological agents, viruses, and bacteria. The classification that we'll find very close to what we found for the carcinogens, but not quite the same thing then. So what we're going to have is a class 1A, 1B, and 2. Um, And then we'll go over the uh, category and the hazard statement. So with the 1A, we have substances known to induce heritable mutations in germ cells of humans. And the hazard statement for this is may cause genetic defects. For a classification 1B, substances which should be regarded as if they can induce heritable mutations in germ cells of humans. Hazard statement for this one may cause genetic defects. When we look at the category two, substances which may cause concern for humans uh, owing to the possibility that they may induce heritable mutations. And the hazard statement for this is suspected of causing genetic defects. They always have to have that may or suspected in there because even though you're exposed to it, it doesn't mean that um, that mutation happened. Just like uh, cancer things, you could work with carcinogens and mutagens your whole life and never have any effect. But you could, of course, obviously be an office worker, come into contact very super rare, um, and uh, you then end up with cancer or this mutation. That's why with all the different variables out there, diet, nutrition, exercise, all that, You just can't always say 100%. You breathe this, you're going to get cancer. You're going to have that mutation. You're going to pass that down to your son or your daughter. It's always a may or suspected. So when we look at mutagens, a class 1 and a class 1b, if it's in excess of 0.1%, it has to be listed inside of that formula. So if it's less than 0.1%, you can have a mutagen that is a class 1A and 1B, and it is not listed as an ingredient on the SDS. 
when we look at mutagens of a class 2, so these have got to be listed if they are in excess of 1% of the formula. So class 2, as long as it's under 1%, it does not have to be listed on the SDS. And that is it for episode 66. We talked about mutagens. Please keep in mind that, that mutagens and carcinogens are pretty darn close, but um, a mutagen is not a carcinogen. A carcinogen is not a um, mutagen, but they both can be the same, but they can both independently be different. So episode number 66 is complete. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me today. Thank you so much and have a safe day.